here I thought I would share parts of my life with you today. This is me trying to stand up from sitting on my bed. That was really hard, and it hurt a lot. All of a sudden, all my joints hurt. Then I'm weak. So it's hard to... Um, do things, but I still <laughs> drag myself to do them. Like now I'm going to get ready and um, go downstairs and do some laundry. I mean, I need it bad because um, I, I don't have nothing that acceptable to wear. I went through my my cleanest dirty clothes over and over. But but I need I need clothes and wash my blankets and towels and I'm I'm trying to walk. I can't. I can't lift my leg. I take a step. <clears throat> oh man, that was hard. But it's like that every time I get up and move around and do things, like my hips, my knees, my ankles, <laughs> my shoulders, I mean every joint in my body hurts. and. I'm losing function in them. Um, that what two years ago I told my doctor about some lumps that I found in my left breast and under my arm. So they scheduled me with the soonest mammogram and ultrasound I could get. And they said that what I feel is um, a fibril something from the last time. I said, but it's gotten so big, it's um, cutting off the circulation to my arm, in my armpit. I can't, my arm goes to sleep. And um, I can only look, look, this is the only way I can move my left arm. I uh, had the camera the wrong way. Let me change this view. I'm not getting this too good because I am in so much pain and 
and wobbly. I mean, I, I literally can't walk. Or or function. <laughs> and this bed is um, two box springs in my mattress, and it's been high enough, but um, not with my joints the way they are. So before I had them with a milk crate on each corner, and the uh, Box, box string and the mattress on top and it made it high enough that I just have to I had just had to slide off the bed I'm gonna change my room around but um <laughs> I have to keep the TV where it is it's um I put the antenna, it's a square flat one. I put it on top of the the seal there. And when I went to open the window, <laughs> it slid outside. So the antenna is outside that window. <laughs> well, there it is down there on the bottom of that curtain. So, uh, that TV has to stay up there where it is. And it has to be way up there so the cats can't get to it. And I have to keep junk around it so if they try to jump up there, they got no landing, landing spot. So I think I'm going to... move my bed over to that window um, beside that chair. I have to take them curtains down because the kitties are, are pulling shreds off and I'm afraid that they'll eat it and, and I have to try to get them to a vent. So I'm taking those curtains down and putting something else up. I'll figure it out. Um, but that um, old recliner there, I have it covered because it's it's really old and it's a um, vinyl, a green vinyl. But it was my husband's chair, his throne. <laughs> First time I met him, I came into the room and he went and sat down in that chair with a great, the biggest gray tabby tomcat I ever seen in my life, sharing the seat with him. And they were watching um, a floor console TV that they could only see the, the bottom half of the picture. So all he could see was people's seats. And I said, doesn't that bother you? And he said, no, because all these actors and all these shows, I've always seen them um, with their face and their, uh, their bodies. But it's a nice change to um, see their feet. <laughs> I thought, oh, well. I said, that's a, that's a cool way to think about it. But he always sat in that chair. So after he died, everybody said, you want to get rid of that ch old chair? And I said, no way. Um, if there was a fire and I could only drag one thing out, I could only keep one thing. I would grab that chair and drag it out and save it. It's, it's a part of the gym. 
so I keep it. But I'm going to move my apartment around today, no matter how hard it is, because I'm, I don't really like it. So I'll let you see it when it's when it's done. Bye. I love you all.